All right, I'm going to make a statement here. You are never too young to start your own business. And if you don't believe us... we got a story for you. News specialist Andrew Adams talked to some kids under the age of 10 who are already well on their way to becoming the next generation of entrepreneurs. Andrew. What was I doing when I was 8 years old? Playing with toy cars? Maybe racking up kills on an old school video game? Working on my penmanship? By the way, it's still terrible. Certainly, I was not thinking about launching my own startup, but these kids are evidence that the times have changed. And you just find the slot and just take it. Building blocks? Together. How about the building blocks of business? And it's just done like that. Brinley Gardner loves dolls and their furniture. I like decorating the beds. But she knows the reality. Out in stores are big bulk. Bulky beds. Once your mom finds it, they're gonna, she's gonna get mad. And they're expensive. So we came up with this idea for me. Dolly Pops. Doll beds that can be easily raised, flattened, and stored. And yes, the eight-year-old has claimed the domain name. We want to get our all the way around America. How can entrepreneurs in the community give back to other entrepreneurs in the community? Gardner is now sharing her business plan with other kids and adults. And they have a fresh modern design. Everyone comes to say, how can we help these companies? LaunchUp.org usually stages networking events for adult entrepreneurs. But this night, the presenters, they're all kids. This is the first time we've ever had kids present. We like that because it's kind of inspiring. If you're thinking about starting a company, watching a 12-year-old who's already done it, it kind of, it's a little kick in the butt. We put up and take down BYU flags on game day for all the home football games. The Hodges are another success story. Ages 5 to 13, they now plant flags in front of 90 homes on game days and give their customers online payment options. Do you like the idea of being your own boss? Yeah. You gotta choose who can work for you and stuff and how you're gonna run your business. Hope for the next generation of kids, inspiration for adults as their business grows. I think it's cool to have them be doing the same thing we are. Owen, Emma, and Edison Hodges you saw there, they say they're not spending their money, they're saving it. Saving up for their LDS mission someday and earning $2,700 a season, that'll add up in a hurry. Back to you guys. A lot more than what uh, many of us were doing at that age. I'm proud of them. Good for them. Andrew, mm -hmm. thank you. Great story, Dave. Yep.